Hello everyone. I know I'm not here today, but I'm kind of here since I'm doing a video with you. This is our guided practice. And remember, since it's guided, that means you're, you should have a perfect score. If you're doing it with me and I'm giving the correct answers, I expect your score to be perfect. If it is not, then I'll know that you didn't follow the guided practice along with me and there'll be um, I don't know, consequences for that. So please follow along with me. The first thing you should always do is look in the directions section or if there's information posted and there is right away. It says, remember, this is basically a word search. So look for those fanboys or comma fanboys. Look for those swabbies. If you don't see a comma fanboy or a swabby, it's simple. Sorry, they came on over the intercom, so I had to pause it. Um, I said, if you don't see a comma fanboy or a swabby, then it's definitely going to be simple or a semicolon. Be careful about that. Um, but remember, you can see fanboys in a simple sentence um, because maybe there's a list. There might be a comma fanboy because of a list or they might be talking about two people. So for instance, Mrs. Leslie and Mrs. Sabinas went for a walk. Remember there has to be um, a comma with the fanboy, at least in this section, in order to be considered compound because I did not remove the punctuation in one through 15. So um, let's go ahead and look at all of this and do the best that we can. Number one says the college gave her a scholarship because she is so smart. First of all, since I've already told you that I have not messed with the punctuation at all, it's correct the way it is. If there's no punctuation whatsoever, it cannot be a compound sentence, which also eliminates compound complex. So we're left with simple and complex. And the only way to tell at this point is to see if there is a swabby. There should not be one at the beginning because there's no comma. So look in the middle. Is there a swabby in this sentence? And the answer is yes, the word was because. Since there is a swabby in this sentence, you need to choose complex. Number two, Erin loves her brother and he loves her too because she pays his bills. Well, I do see a comma fanboy and it's not a list. So that tells me that this is probably which type of a sentence as far as this is concerned. It would be compound. Then I look later on and I see that big because right there, that long word draws my attention. That is a swabby, which makes it complex. So then what type of a sentence is this? Compound complex. Number three, pick up the books from the library, please. I see a comma here, um, but there's no fanboy. And please is not a complete sentence. If I look in the front and see if there's a swabby, pick up the books is not a swabby. So it doesn't have comma fanboys and it does not have a swabby. So what type would that be? And the answer is simple. So if you got that, good job. Number four, Mary never wrote the letter, nor did she call him. So right away, I see comma fanboy. If you forgot that nor uh, was a fanboy, that's the N in fanboys. So remember that. This right here is a good indicator that this is which type of a sentence. Hopefully you said compound because it is a compound sentence. Number five, the dog ran off when I chased him but I didn't care. Right away, I see my punctuation. I see a comma with a fanboy. It's not a list. I didn't care as a complete sentence. Um, it says the dog ran off when I chased him. So the dog ran off is independent. I didn't care is independent, but it does have the swabby right here too, when. So we have two independent clauses with a swabby, with a fanboys, I'm sorry, two independent clauses with a fanboys, comma fanboys, which makes it compound. But as soon as I saw this when, that made it which type? Complex, and you put them together. Compound complex. Hopefully you got that one on your own. I know I was a little bit um, confusing at first, sorry. Okay, number six. Samantha, Elizabeth, and Joan are on the committee. Okay, whoa. I see a comma fanboy. So I would normally be like, oh, that's definitely a compound sentence. But I always tell you to check for what and make sure it's not a what? A list. So let's look before and it says Samantha Elizabeth. That is not a complete sentence. They are making a list. Samantha Elizabeth and Joan. This is a list. What type of a sentence is this? And the answer is simple. If you got that, nice job. Number seven. My mom smiled when I made dinner. So quick reminder, there is no punctuation here, which means this cannot be a compound sentence. If it can't be compound, that means it also cannot be compound complex. So we're left with simple and complex. Be careful because a lot of students want to choose simple right away, but first make sure you don't have a swabby in the middle because remember when swabbies are in the middle of a sentence, they do not require punctuation. You should not put them there most of the time. So let's look, is there a swabby in the middle of number seven? 
And the answer is yes, which makes it which type of a sentence? Complex. Number eight, even if the child is hungry, he will never eat oatmeal, but he will always eat ice cream. Okay, so looking for all my punctuation, I saw my comma fanboy, comma butt, then I also saw a comma here, but there's nothing by it. So what do I do? I go to the front and see if there's a swabby, even if. Is even if considered a swabby? The answer is yes. So we have our swabby and our comma fanboys, which makes it gum, gum, complex. Well done. Number nine, I have known him for a long time, yet I have never understood him. I see my comma fanboys in here. I do not see any swabbies in here. So just comma fanboy with two sentences is which, is which type? And the answer is compound. Number 10, I see a comma right away. There's no fanboys with it, so that does not make it compound. If I go to the front, is this a swabby? Is while a swabby? And the answer is yes. So what type of a sentence is this then? It is complex. Number 11, this is so easy. What type do you think this is? Well, some people might say, I see so, and that's the S in fanboys, but that's not two sentences, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you said simple because this is in fact a simple sentence. Number 12, Tori loves to do hair. She works at a salon. Boom, we just saw a semicolon. There's only one type of a sentence that can have a semicolon. Which type is it? Compound. Hopefully you chose compound because that is the correct answer. 13. I see my comma fanboy. Let's look before. I couldn't play the game. Yes, complete sentence. Let's look after. I still had fun. Yes, complete sentence. However, I also saw this comma with nothing by it, so I go to the front. It has a swabby. It has a subject and a verb with it. I was late. So we have two independent clauses with a comma fanboy and a swabby um, with a subordinate clause. So what type of a sentence would this be? It is compound complex. Number 14, Diego hates roller coasters because he got sick ones, but he likes to watch them on YouTube. So right away again, keep looking for that punctuation. That'll help you a lot because as I said, I did not take any of the punctuation out in this whole section. So I see comma, but it says he likes to watch them on YouTube. Yes, that's a complete sentence. He got sick once, that is a complete sentence. I have, oh wait, he got sick once starts with because. So because he got sick once is which kind of a sentence? Well, technically it's a sentence fragment. So what type of a clause? It's a subordinate clause because it has a swabby. So hmm, that's a little bit tricky after, but it says he likes to watch them on YouTube. That is a complete sentence. There's one independent clause. Is there another one? Yes, at the front. Diego hates roller coasters is the other independent clause. It just appears in the front of the sentence, which is okay as long as the sentence makes sense. So we have our comma fanboys and we have our swabby with subordinate clause. What type is this? It is compound complex. So if you got that, nice job. And last but not least in this section, number 15, it is important to vote when the time comes or you won't get a say in the new laws. What do you think this type is without me talking you through it? This type is compound complex. We had my comma fanboys right here. I have an independent clause is important to vote. And also you won't get a say in new laws. Then we have our subordinate clause when the time comes. So you had two independent with a comma fanboys and your swabby subordinate clause that makes it compound complex. All right, let's move on to the next section.